Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today I'm showing some exercise for how to do this uh, power circuiting in AutoCAD. So here is one uh, cable tray schedule for uh, cable tray schedule. And here is one DB uh, schedules and panel schedules and everything. So from this one, how we can do the power uh, power system in AutoCAD, I will show you. So these are some details for the DBs. So easily we can create the details, uh, how we can run the cable tray and how to run the conduits in AutoCAD. Okay, so this is a simple video, simple exercise video, those who are starting uh, electrical field so they can easily um, uh, read the drawing like that okay and even we can um, give the circuit numbers and everything okay so for example this is a mechanical equipment fcu so fcu needs some power so we already placed that uh, power sockets for here and another uh, for the water heater also we given uh, some sockets and for one uh, neon indicator switch also we given Okay, so here you can get all the uh, legions. Okay, for example, this this symbol is showing thirteen um, single switched uh, socket outlet. It's uh, uh, around four fifty mm from initial floor level. The sender is uh, four fifty. Okay, so uh, these are the symbols for that uh, um, symbol we are using in AutoCAD. So, so this is the uh, double pole switch with the neon indicator, neon indicator like that. A lot of uh, symbols are available like socket symbols so get draft for the dryer dish, dishwash we are using this one uh, flex outlet microwave we are using this one and oven we are using this one okay so this is the symbol so from here we can mention like uh, which love which height is uh, uh, socket is fixing for example this is the one elevation drawing for that one so for example you can see here uh, socket outlet for the switch height is around 650 and this is a socket outlet okay so uh, these are for the uh, micro oven socket okay so uh, flex outlet uh, for the socket 20 amps flex outlet okay and even like that we can um, we can arrange the sockets and we can give the dimensions and height and everything and these are the conduits going to this uh, uh, panel okay so like that we are arranged so this way we need to give the circuit over here for example, um, the FCU need one power. Okay, so we already given that one. Okay, so as per the DB schedule, we we are we are having uh, this uh, how many uh, the circuit numbers and everything we'll get from the DB. Okay, for example, this one um, I will I'll check one circuit number. Okay, for example, this circuit B B twelve. Okay, B twelve we we are giving here B twelve DBL thirty six zero one. So we can find easily here B twelve. Okay, B twelve. Um, that that one is coming from where you can easily read that one is a dbl 3601 so we need to find where is the dbl 3601 okay so this is the one uh, uh, that one and we need to check the b12 okay so you can need to go here and b12 so you can see here bathroom fcu okay so that writing and everything is over here so you can simply read the thing like that, okay. For 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 example, Y10, okay, Y10, uh, we need to check that one, Y10. So Y10, it was coming around here in the DB schedule, okay, Y10, also bathroom, it is showing bathroom for water heater, okay. So that load is around 1,200 and DP switches, okay. Like that we can read and we can place the um, sockets, okay. For example, we for this water heater, we need to connect the uh, conduit okay so we just need to connect like this and go like this okay so you can connect like that and you can simply arrange this one a little bit beautifully you can fillet it like that okay so you can uh, easily uh, do the conducting for example other one this one okay this one uh, i uh, for example this is y5 okay y5 db b601 so we'll go here and we'll check how many it was connected okay so b6 uh, B6 circuit, we need to change, okay, bedroom, that is bedroom, how many numbers, four, okay, four circuit, uh, single lock, uh, single and uh, double circuit, it's mentioned, okay, so it, it means B6, B6 is like this one, four into one, five, okay, so what we can do, we just go here, and we need to connect that one, okay, so just need to connect like this, okay, just do like this, PL, and you can uh, connect to this one, like this, 
okay so you can see here it's uh, it's connecting like that you can beautifully you can can arrange like uh, uh, like this and you just need to go here connect here and uh, you can connect like this and it will go it will go there also like uh, it was it was going wide wi-fi okay so just connecting to the wi-fi uh, then you just need to do like this and connect to the sockets over here and you can give the dimensions and everything so this is we can easily simply place the sockets easily the, over there so this is a simple exercise how to read and write like me means easily we can draw the uh draw the uh, this um, conduit conduit circuiting easily we can do it in um, autocad okay so this is wi-fi okay so we just need to check the wi-fi circuit number wi-fi from here okay so just go here living room three three plus two okay so you need to check uh, there will be three plus two okay though so this one is one this one is two okay means uh, two into three okay and this is one socket single socket so this is two socket okay then two two socket like a double socket is there okay double uh, socket is there wi-fi wi-fi means uh, three single and uh, two double okay so we need to check there three single means one two okay two and three and maybe maybe this one also we need to connect with that okay so wi-fi we need to connect this one also okay one two and three maybe this one also we need to connect with that okay so just need to connect with uh, like that okay so just uh, need to need to fill it with this one okay fill it with this one okay then uh, one 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 circuit we need to go from here okay so as per the uh, schedule you can take this uh, dimensions and everything okay from from there okay then you can need to connect with all the uh, circuiting like this so it's just fillet it and you just need to connect with this this one to that uh, uh, that socket so this is the way we are doing uh, the circuiting in autocad so this is the same situation for all other areas like for example here okay for r5 okay so just need to connect with the r5 so just give a like that pl and connecting like this and connecting like that connecting to another socket so you need to check the load schedule and even it's need to adjust the load schedule you can do that things okay so this is the way we are doing the circuiting okay so we'll just doing like this okay just doing like so then in this all area we are doing the same method okay so if if, if i know to start to, uh, to do the all the things it will take a time okay so this is a simple exercise those who are working in electrical field so they can understand these things and easily you can develop the uh, power circuiting like this so you can do like this and even even the FCU connections are here and uh, everywhere the water heater is showing so you just uh, need to connect with the water heater with this uh, this switch okay so in the bathroom area there, there will be a heater switch so you need to just connect it like that and you can adjust it a little bit beautifully this one okay and if it's connected and one one circuit is going to this uh, uh, db okay for each dbs okay so wherever it's mentioned that db it was connecting for example this one is uh, going to this db1 means you just need to connect like so how it's it's work i will show you so uh, we'll have one <clears throat> cable tray over here we need to run the cable tray like this from this smdb means the from this smdb it was um, feeding to this all the areas uh, like db um, 0102 it's, it's showing okay so we need to run the cable tray over here and you need to uh, draw the cable tray as per this for example i will have some block okay so i'll just copy this one okay just copy and we need to place it over here for this is swimming pool isolator uh okay so just just how I'll, I'll show you how to do that one okay so for example this one this is this yellow line is the cable tray route okay so just need to place the one cable tray over here if you want to stretch this cable tray you can stretch it also otherwise you can you will be get this uh, dynamic block for uh, broken start the different style we made out okay so just uh, you can uh, do the different style of cable trays and everything okay so that like that you can arrange something and uh, the fittings also available here so just copy this fittings 
So just put it over here. Okay. Just I'm placing over here and um, just uh, need to be connected with like that. Okay. So just connect it like this and just stretch it like that. Okay. And connect to that one. And even uh, the cable tray for this one. You just copy this one. Okay. So we'll have a different type of uh, uh, dynamic block. Okay. So I, I had made the, another uh, one type of cable tray and uh, dynamic block. So you can use and uh, you can watch that video. And uh, you can, if you need the cable tray blocks, I will give you also. No issue. Okay. So like that, we are making this uh, power cable tray for this powering system. Okay. And I will show you this one. We need to connect over here and just connect to this 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 one to this one. So this this one and and connecting it, it is feeding from this uh, DB. Okay. So like that we are arranging. Okay. So we'll having already the cable tie arrangement over here. So just I copying this one and just uh, I need to connect that. Okay. So um, I'm not uh, draw, drawing all the things. Okay. So it will it will make uh, it it will make lot of time okay so making this cable tray i'll make a separate video for that okay so just to copy this one and i am placing over here okay so this is the way like uh, it means i will i'll show you how to uh, how to feed these things and everything okay so here also we need one uh, cable tray branch okay so just to copy this one okay so copy this one and we'll just place it over here and just in deleting this one so one branch required for this uh, power also. So just uh, need to connect from here. So this the uh, you can you can connect with this one to the, this one, and this one to this one. Okay, so it it means it this will be going to up uh, upside. Okay, so we'll read it how to read. I will show you. Okay, this one. Okay, so for example, this is SMDB. Okay, so I will make it as two part. Okay, this one, two vertical part. I'll show you how to read the things. Okay, so if you have this uh, cable tray schedule over here. Okay, so what we can do here is a one meter. Okay, so this is the one meter. So with 115 to 150, uh, 115 to 50 mm LV cable tray. So you can see here, this is the meter for the uh, meter for that one. And we will have some numbers for this one. This is the one meter, first meter. Okay, so just uh, this coming from SMDB. Okay, it means it is coming from here and it is connecting to this uh, uh, this meter. Okay, so the the cable size is this one. Okay, and the cable tray size is 150. Okay. So what we can do, just copy this one. Okay, then uh, we can say like uh, here is uh, um, in this in, in this cable tray, one cable is going and connecting to that, uh, connecting to that uh, SMDB. Like that we are reading and giving, you need to give this uh, uh, number for this one because this number we need to show here. Easily the site people can understand what are the cables and what are the size of the cable ties going. And another one is a DB62. Okay, so just uh, check the uh, DB62. It's coming from this this of some DB and going there. Okay, so that uh, cable, uh, that one is the four number cable tray. And it was uh, the size of the cable is it was showing over here. So like that, we can read the um, power drawing also easily. We can circuit and everything in in a AutoCAD. And I will put I will make another uh, some other videos also. So you can see here um, for the kitchen equipment uh, for hood they are given something and here they made it already for uh, uh, this. Um, for, uh, for for this this one also we we made it uh, um, what is called like a l601 so you will be get this uh, db schedule also for the kitchens okay so you can see here r7 is there okay so then you need to find it that one is there also okay so this the spare is there and r6 also there so leaving r6 you need to kitchen microwave okay so for example this is the one kitchen microwave and it is connected to one switch okay so r5 is there okay so just dishwasher kitchen this this is the dishwasher symbol okay so that this circuit is going so all this going to this uh, even the, the one conduit will come to here okay so just we need to do like this and connecting to the circuit uh, cable tray and, and it is in this, it's going to the panels, okay. 
So every circuit is it's going like that. Okay, so just you need to draw like this and connecting to here. Okay, for example, if you if you have something, you can you can connect it to here, and dishwasher. Okay, also connecting to here, and here also we need one connection with this this one, and that power if you from that uh, DB and connecting to this. Uh, connecting to the cable travel, uh, carrying this all the cable, okay. So the easily they can uh, uh, draw the uh, conducting for power like this and even for this one, this one is, and even this one also, okay. So you can connect like that. Simply you can connect like this, okay. So even for the FCU power, also it's connecting to this cable tray and cable tray will carry out the, all the things. And you can uh, connect it from here, okay, one circuit is over here. So you can just simply connecting like this and it is feeding to this, um, that it was going to that power panel, okay. So then easily you can uh, carry out the things, okay. For example, Y6, then we need to connect all the sockets, so which are the sockets with you, with the Y6 circuit, so you can connect like easily with that okay so this is the way we are doing this um, um, this power circuiting in autocad so if you uh, if you guys understood this video so please uh, like and subscribe my channel so it's totally related to autocad and uh, uh, rivet so the same method we are we will need to use everywhere so that is what i'm i'm not showing all the things okay so it's a one 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 uh, one thing you got the idea then easily you can connect it with all the circuits like this okay and uh, like that like that and you can find all the things like bedroom too and in, even in the db schedules clearly mentioned and you can create the db schedule also thanks for watching thank you